Business. You're good at this. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Tired of your old clothes? Buy some new ones. What is it you need? Yeah, it may be expensive, but it's worth every ounce of gold. We have some new things in stock you might like. You're paying top gold for a top quality item. It appears you have all the required ingredients for your... Let's adjourn to the dressing room and see about your disguise, shall we? The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. Perfect. You look dangerous and devoid of all human decency already. Now, for the tattoo. Ah, yes, very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Seika, hadn't you? Jimmy, back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. You've been up to much lately? Yeah. Nah, yeah. me neither. Sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Why oh, didn't you? Well, I never saw myself as a sugar salesman. And it wasn't really feasible after I killed him and all. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. Jimmy, over here, mate. Roll over, you stupid mutt. Don't get too close. That thing's probably got rabies or something. All right, Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? And don't let anybody tell you drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. I can tell you can handle a gun, Jimmy. That really you? You look different oh, somehow. Look at him bleed. Were your eyes always that colour? Nah, Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him! It's not Jimmy! Christ, that must have hurt. I should know. I shot myself loads of times. You're supposed to be doing the whacking and smacking, not the other way round. Open the gates! I need reinforcements! Watch out! The bugger's got a gun!
No one can get past my defense. Jimmy impersonator! than me. Jimmy was my mate! Die! This guy's a right menace with that gun. Leave him! He's mine! You've left quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one.
You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. Momentous occasion, sir. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're... Sir Walter is still waiting for you in the Bright Wall. I believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that have been set for you. If you return to Brightwall, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Chicken feather in my beer. Is that normal? Ah, uh, yes, the spit. Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. 
But? But were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. An excellent way to gain followers is by help. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. Oh, this is terrible. Somehow, the gate... Right, you'll need this. You've a new suit in your wardrobe, a new feathery suit. You're dressed as a chicken. What are you what are you what are you planning to do dressed as a chicken? Feel free to change the color of your clothes or hair. Most people think chickens are very, very crafty. Terrific! We're gaining the initiative. Go on. A new you should spend your money today. here. Then I can have it. I'll sell the finest <laughs> items too much in Brightwall. Sell it to me. Hello. Amazing. You're doing great. We can't afford any mistakes now, or the entire operation will be compromised. You are just so funny!
<laughs> I might have what you want. That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with me. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. Oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. Dare I say, you're not likely to get much further without... Oh, didn't you foul, no, vile you fiend! You uncouth wretch! You, good sir, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch. Ah, you will find the legendary lost play. Splendid. Turn back now, mortal one! Stay away from this accursed place! Only death and insanity await you. Don't pick it up! No, really, I'm serious. You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. Oh, 
Ethel, my love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My heart is yours, my love. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty! Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head! Kuchi kuchi go! <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre, I wonder? Oh dear. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus! Thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy! My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold as your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. We're going to smash your face in, punk. Is bloody setting things on fire? That didn't look too bad, mate. Come on. It's him back! Ah, it's only a flesh. Oh, now that's gonna hurt. Hey, duck next time! More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live! Your last sulfur scented breath, Titus. You 
know what you did. Wish me vests were a bit more. All my men dead, my vengeance denied, my world undone. I cannot stand to live one second more. A tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you, perchance, found... We're saved, Lambert! Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank you a million times! Thank you! <laughs> His head bosom! It's already working! Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands! Hark. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town so gates to express what that very you do sentiment. Now, Mr. Locke? It have you checked the sanctuary shop recently? I believe there are new items. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. Anyone can dress as a prince, but no one pulls it off quite as you do. Reconsider, have you? Very well. You can use these mannequins to store your current look in order to easily select it later. Ah, very good indeed. Good choice. It's on the horizon. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today 
we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence, and now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man, the son of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day, not just as our hero, but as our king. Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've made to the people of Albion. Your contract with Samuel is there, for example. You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. They will be overjoyed. Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you um? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth, Boulder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day. It will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ah, Boulder. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? <laughs> he, he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now.
I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here. But there is still much for us to do. And I know just where to find our next allies. Did you hear about that? I'll meet you at the station in Mispeak when you're ready. Revolution.